Hello and welcome back to my uh, videos. Um, this is the second episode that I've done. I hope you liked the last one. On this one, I'm going to uh, relay a search story of, that is true. Some people don't believe it because it sounds kind of incredible, but it was about my grandfather, my papa, and his uh, bird dogs that he had. We used to go back and visit him uh, about every other year when he lived in Mississippi before he passed. And he always had, you know, say six, seven, sometimes up to 10 different uh, bird dogs, all German short hair. On this one occasion, we watched him as he put down a lawn chair in the middle of his yard, went and opened up the uh, dog's pen, and they all came running out, rushing. And then they made a semicircle around his uh, chair. He sat down, he would call each one by name, and these dogs range from <clears throat> almost maybe a year old to a couple of them are probably around 12 years old. And so they'd come running up to him as he called them one by one. He would check them for ticks, talk to them, make sure they were okay, uh, petted them, um, you know, really taking care of his, his dogs. Then he would tell it to go back to his spot and it would go back to the same spot it was at beforehand. And he'd just point and tell them, hey, come here, Joe, come here, Pepper, and repeatedly tell, you know, they'd come around. And then he'd give them a little, all a lecture when he was done with that, tell them to be good, that they can go off, and the younger ones better come back before dark, the older ones can stay out later. And one by one, during the night, they would come back. They all would just come back to the pen, put themselves in. He never had to lock the pen to close it. And towards the middle of the morning, well, late morning, sometimes it, some of the older dogs would come back and, and just put themselves in the pen. He'd go and close the door. So a lot of people that I, in my family that uh, never witnessed this, this, they don't understand that. Over years, though, I've thought about it and kind of finally came to me that Really, these dogs are an example of what we are supposed to be. And my grandfather was, is representative of, you know, how the Lord is. He wants to take care of us. He wants to, to shine us through everything. He wants to groom us. He wants to make sure we're okay. And those dogs were so loyal and loving to him because they knew he would protect them. He would take care of them. He would feed them. He looked after them, each and every one of them. So as they grew older, they had more, more abilities, more uh, ability to go out and stay out longer and have fun and, and come back. They all knew that they had to listen to him and they had to abide by what he said and he would take care of them. Now, of course, he would take care of them if they didn't do what they're supposed to, because let's face it, a puppy is not going to always do what's right. They're going to fail. They're going to make a mistake. But he wouldn't scold them and punish them and, and beat them. He would just take them to the side. He would, you know, care for them. And all of them would just start to bond with him to the point that they didn't want to make him unhappy. They didn't want to... Um, make him frustrated and that is what we're supposed to be we're supposed to be as we get older and more mature as a Christian we're supposed to follow what God says and we're, we're we'll get to where we can do that without even thinking about it you know we will instead of using the idols of the world the, the sins that we see and the acceptance of things that really we shouldn't be as we get older and more mature as a Christian, we start to see things on TV and movies and stuff that we used to always love to watch, just not feel right. They'll haunt us and they'll be like, why did we watch this before? I've seen that a couple times where in myself, that I start watching a movie or a TV show that I loved it when I was younger, when I was a less mature Christian. Today, if I look at it and I'm just like, this is disgusting. This is the whole theme of it is not of God and not of, of what we're supposed to be doing. And I'm trying to be kind of like those, those 
uh, German short hairs that my grandfather had, trying to follow what I'm supposed to do and lead by example. I still fail. I still make mistakes. Because regardless how much I try, I'm never going to be perfect. Only perfect person that's ever lived on this earth was Jesus Christ. And that is who I'm trying to become. Someone like him. I'll never make it to be him, but I'd like to start to be like him more and more every day. Thank you for watching this.